On today's show, we're going to take a look at this funky little pile of widgets to uh, potentially enhance your iPhone cinematography. Hmm. Good morning, and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment. First live three times a week show here at youtube.com slash photo joseph. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. You know the routine by now. How you guys doing? Today we're talking about a fun little product. Uh, we'll see if this is something that, uh, that you all want to get your hands on. This is, if you're doing s iPhone cinematography, iPhone, well, from anything from selfie videos to live streaming from your phone to I don't know, full-on cinematic, ooh, I'm gonna get really good and make movies with my iPhone, um, you generally wanna add some kind of accessories to it. Whether you're talking about a microphone, good good first step, right? Because the microphone built into these phones is really not very good. Um, to a handle like this here, now this is not a gimbal, it's not a stabilized handle, but being able to hold the camera with some kind of device other than just holding it like this can definitely be a benefit. If you wanna do things like mount a light onto it, have a little arm to mount a, a light thing onto it, that can be kinda of cool. And then to the ability to have a, a, an actual remote control to start and stop shooting could be kinda of handy too. And that's all of what this stuff is. So this is a product from a company called, called um, ViewFlex. I mean, it's kind of a combination of things. It's a ViewFlex, at least that's what it says on here. Maybe that's the product name. It says Kamika. Com, 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 it's a Kamika. Oh, that's interesting. I'm getting some microphone feedback here. Interesting. We'll, we'll avoid that. Um, it's a Kamika microphone. Maybe Kamika makes the whole thing. The lights from Coma Ray. The handle is called the VF. And we link to it down below. That's what really ultimately matters. And what this whole thing is is it's uh, obviously it's the handle. It's the bracket. It's the light. It's the microphone. But all that really matters is if it's any good. At the end of the day, that's what matters. So the light. We'll start with the light. The light's pretty straightforward. It's a light, right? And it does have a little brightening, dimming thingy on it. Let's go for it. That is an interesting little static pull that I'm getting in there, isn't it? Um, let's see here. Let's go for a close-up shot here. So you can see the control. You can see the control in the back here you have over the lighting, so I can make it a little bit brighter, a little bit darker. So you've got that on there if you need to do as such. That will also give you a... Well, that static is... That is interesting. Where is that coming from? I wonder if it's somehow... If I let go of it, it's not there. Some kind of feedback. Some kind of feedback from the thing. I don't know what this is. Well, well anyway, it's uh, we'll just have to ignore the static. The static is, is some kind of interference from this, which in itself is very curious, isn't it? That's not something I would have expected, but it's it's happening. It is definitely happening. Anyway, so you've got the bracket, you've got the, the light on there, you have this little tiny microphone, which we're going to find out quite soon is actually pretty good. For a tiny little mic that's on here, plugged in, it's actually quite a good little mic. Now, this kit comes with a case to carry it all together. It comes with the cable that you need to plug into your smartphone, but not the adapter, of course, to connect to your iPhone. And, you know, unfortunately, these days, we don't have headphone jacks in pretty much anything that we buy. I think all the newest phones are all like Sayonara headphone jack, so you're going to need an adapter. They don't ship with the adapter you'd need for every single possible device out there, so this will be compatible with basically anything you can plug a TRS port into or adapt to, which would mean your lightning port for your iPhone and older iPhones with lightning only came with the adapter. The newer ones <laughs> apparently do not. Thanks, Apple. Uh, and the new Android phones apparently are USB-C only as well, so you're going to need an adapter for that. So one way or another, you're going to need an adapter. We'll link to everything down below that you might possibly need. Uh, we're going to see how good it sounds. That's going to be the final real test. Obviously, that's what matters most. But there is one more thing I kind of want to go through with you on this, and that's the assembly of this thing. So this is, I wish it was a little bit better going together. It went together a little bit better. Let me show you how it all comes apart to begin with, and then we're going to put it back together, and I'm going to show you my one kind of complaint. It's not a big, huge deal, but it's, it's one of those, you know, it's a little bit annoying. So it all comes apart. And incidentally, you could put the light on top of this if you wanted to and put the mic over here. It's, you know, that's up to you. You could also take this arm off if you don't want that on there. So let's just disassemble the whole thing. Take off the microphone. Loosen this. This handle, by the way, gets quite big. So if you've got a really big phone or a smaller phone, this will tighten and loosen to accommodate that. Um, as we take all the pieces apart in here, you'll see that. Let's get rid of this bracket on here. You will see that. Bum, 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 bum. It's got a very long thread on there. It's not going to just suddenly fall off. It does take a little while to put together. Um, this comes off, so you don't have to have this part on here. You can just attach this. So if you just want the iPhone with the handle on here, the uh, cold shoe on here, rather, to attach a light, a microphone, whatever to, you can do that. This is an optional piece you can add onto it. So this here, the kind of cool thing about the way this is designed is you can take this off, and if you wanted to, 
we go. Let's get that in there all the way down. So again, everything's got a very long thread. You could position this in the middle here so then it could be a sliding rail. So you can position it kind of however you want in there, which is nice. You do have some flexibility on that. But here's, here's the problem. So let me put this back into here. Now I'm going to have to thread this thing back in, get this guy in. This is going to take a little while. But apparently, it takes a little while if you get it in the right thread to start with. That's a, that's a good start. So this is the fun of live stuff. You're like, if it's going to go wrong, if it could go wrong, it's going to happen live. Okay, so that's in place. This is now ready to go. I put this onto here. I attach this to here. And I get that on there. Now I'm going to have to thread this down for a nice, long, skinny thread. Hey, while I'm doing this, um, just remember, folks, if you are watching live, the Q&A will happen at the end. If you're not watching live and you would like to watch the Q&A, at the end of this video, there will be the link to the live Q&A. So if you're into the Q&A part of it, I know that show is not listed anymore. It's a whole analytics reason we're doing that. But you get to the end of this show, there's been a link to the Q&A, so that's where it is. Okay, so I've got this now in place, right? Except that it's not tight. Well, it's, you know, just tighten it down, right? So tighten that as much as you can, but it still is going to move. And so the, really the only good tightening thing you can do is you're going to grab this handle and give it a good twist. Okay, that's great. Now it's tight. But now, <laughs> it is severely not straightened out. Let me, let me go a little bit wider on this, and you can really kind of see here. Um, that is obviously not aligned. So this is, this is the challenge, and this is my real only real complaint. This part here is just one screw in, so you got to like really tighten that in. And of course, as soon as that gets knocked the other way, the whole thing is loose. This part here, you can only tighten so much with the thumb screw, and it's, it's just, you no, know, you're not really going to get that tight. So you really have to grab this and give it a good pull, which is fine. But then if you want things to actually be lined up, you got to be really kind of strategic about where you position it before, there we go, before you give it the good yank. So like I found if I give it maybe kind of a 45-ish degree angle, we'll get that one pretty straight onto there, tighten that down take this and like, nope, see that's not enough. So I'm going to tighten it down some more and then get that into play. And so there, kind of, there we go. It's, it's, and it's still off center. See, it's, it's a challenge. It's an annoying challenge because you really want to just put it together and be done, but you do have to be quite meticulous about getting it lined up right, assuming you care. The only real reason it matters, other than having the light and the camera being at the same angle, is the handle with the button on the back. If you're not going to use the button on the back, it really doesn't matter. And obviously, you can you know, easily just move your thumb around to the side to hit it. It's not like it's the end of the world. But it's nice for it all to be lined up and centered. Incidentally, this little button right here, cute little thing, is a Bluetooth connection device. Just, just Bluetooth pairs to your phone. And all this is doing when you push the button is it's pushing the up volume on your phone, which starts and stops recording. So that's kind of cool, right? Um, neat and it's removable. So you can just take this away and go somewhere else. So if you wanted to set this on a tripod somewhere, back up, hit start to start recording, you could do that. So that's kind of cool. Now, when I did get this, it came with a DOA one. This one was dead, but the company did replace it. It shipped from China. It took a few weeks to get here, but they did send out a replacement part for it. So when you get yours, if you decide to buy one of these things, when you get yours, if the remote doesn't work, and basically I, you know, trying to turn it on, it just never came on. I swapped the battery. It wasn't the battery. Um, if yours never works, Contact the company, tell them that Photo Joseph said, hey, mine didn't work either. Please send me a new one. And uh, I think they'll take care of you because they took care of me. That's the idea. So that's kind of cool. All right, so let's just get it all together. I'm going to put that in there so you see it pops in. this little button on there. Let's get the actual phone in place in here and plug it all back in. And then, oops, I'm going to do it that way. Let's not do it backwards. That would be silly. Um, and then we'll do a quick little recording and I'll play it back for you. So you're going to see a live recording and you'll get to hear the difference between this broadcast system, static notwithstanding, the static should clearly not be there, and what the microphone on here actually sounds like. Hey, incidentally, while I'm doing this, let me just remind you too about the value for value proposition that we have on the show. What this means is that if you feel that you have gained value from today's show, then we would most certainly appreciate it if you could put a little bit of value back. And the best way to do that is to head over to photojoseph.com slash support. There's all the different methods, all the different ways you can help out, all the different things you can do on there, including shopping at the affiliate store. Like if you decide to buy this thing, um, you know, please use my link. Um, but the biggest thing, the coolest thing is membership. If you're a member of photojoseph.com, you get access to all kinds of good stuff, including, including the new private, very small Facebook group where we can interact on a more intimate level and have any kind of conversation you want where I will also go live on random times and moments. Um, I just realized I kind of put this together backwards. I meant to flip this the other way, but it probably really doesn't matter. No, it totally matters. No, it doesn't matter. No, this is good. We're good. I was wondering if that was too close to the light. 
Probably is. I really meant to flip it the other way, but who cares? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit the record button. So let's go for that close up on here. You can see as I hit the button on here, it is going to start recording on there. So did you see that? It started recording. And, um, and now we're just going to, that's it. It's recording. I probably should put the light on. I want some light on there too. Let's get some light on there and let's see how this thing looks. I probably should put the light on. I want some light on there too. Let's get some light on there and let's see how this thing looks. So there we are. We are in full on selfie mode. Now here's one thing about the mic that's kind of cool is it is quite directional. So watch this. I'm talking, talking. It can hear me. You can hear me. I'm talking, talking. It can hear me. You can hear me. I do this and you're going to hear when you hear the recording on the other side that it is actually quite a big audio difference in there. Is it is quite directional? So watch this. I'm talking, talking. It can hear me. You can hear me. I do this. And you're going to hear when you hear the recording on the other side that it is actually quite a big audio difference in there. So that is that is notable. It is very much a directional mic, which is good because that tells us, stop recording there, that tells us that we are going to not pick up a whole lot of background extraneous noise and all that good stuff. So there you go. So it's, it's pretty decent, right? I mean, that sound was definitely not bad for this tiny little mic on there. It's not too shabby. Now the price of the whole thing, it is 125 for the whole rig. So it's definitely not the cheapest thing you're going to find online, but you could, uh, you could spend a lot more, you could spend a lot less. And I think for the price of it, I think you're getting something of good quality of, of comparable quality. You know, you could obviously, you could spend just a hundred dollars on a microphone alone easily um, and spend a lot more than that on a microphone alone. So for 125 for the handle, the light and the uh, and the microphone in there. I think it's not too shabby. So anyway, so there you go. That is my my unoccasioned, un unoccasioned, uneducated, uninformed opinion. of. No, I think it's kind of cool. I think it's a nice little product. If you're doing the kind of thing where you're shooting with your phone, you want to have a little stabilization. You want to have a mic and a place to put it. You want to have a light on there or not take the arm and the light off. Then uh, then you could certainly do worse. All right, guys, that's it. That is that is today's Wow, that was a show and a half. Let's jump into the Q&A and see if there's anything you guys want to make fun of me for because something tell me, tells me that uh, it's going to be right for that today. We'll see you over in the Q&A, folks. Be right back.